Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the stream. Hope you're all having a fantastic Friday, or whatever day it is for you right now, and uh, here we are. Oh my god, my microphone fell off. Oops, hold on. Whoopsie daisy. Oh well, fine. Got it back in places. So yeah, uh, it's Friday, and uh, we started the game early in the week. Uh, you know, on Wednesday, because it just felt like it, because it's kind of a chill game. Um, but here we are. We're going to play Death and Taxes again. Friday, Saturday, back to back. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was a chill time. I had a good time with it. The only problem is that font is kind of small sometimes and hard to read. Ivano won't spare Twitch employees in the revolution. <laughs> oh, I was actually late to start, so that probably was wasn't Twitch necessarily. But uh, but yeah, so let's uh, let's get back into the game. The game loads really quickly sometimes. Ivano won't spare you. No, have mercy. Yeah, this game is nice and chill. I like it. Is it capturing? It is. Cool, cool, cool. Continue to day 10. Just absolutely murdering people. Well, not really. We're actually doing our job. Ah, perhaps he was a delightful gift for a significant friend. Okay, what the fuck? Cactus, the most brutal of plants. Plague Doctor. Oh, that's a cool... That's a cool... Um, did we ever get the cute bartender's name? We probably did, but immediately forgot. They have... Kitty in there? <laughs> uh, I suppose so, yeah. Like, uh... We only have 600 right now, so we can't buy anything. We have to talk to our boss? I don't think so. I know. Or, oh yeah, the cat is our boss right now. I like this super exciting th version. Alright. Morning Grip. Alright, we are back to normal. The plant department got their act together. You, however, should be intimately familiar with the drill by now. We mitigate chaos, we bolster order, etc. Quote for the day, two humans must die. Okay, only two people must die. Okay, that sucks. Fuck do I put this? Why does it do this to me? Oh, whatever. Check our phone. Daily Boon. A farmer found the reason of the bees disappearing. Carnivorous plants. That's bullshit. But whatever. Did Snortimer sell us a cat? Probably not. The cat seems to be as intelligent as him. In fact, what if he is the cat? I don't know. Screwco and Co. compromised, diverting railway away from treasured national tree, and promised to adhere to, to environmental standards. Right, I, I say I saved the I saved the trees. I saved to the both of the old trees and let the other ones die. <laughs> I let the carnivorous plant live as well because I didn't think I don't actually think that's responsible for killing bees. But you know, whatever. Eco Watch. Unnatural storms reported near national coastlines. Small villages reported to be devastated. Veggies don't die, they just reincarnate, so they are not included in this department. <laughs> yeah, I wonder they're probably like they probably have like a, a ghost the ghost department, like because they, they, they are neither living or dead. Or whatever. Culture mag, the results are in. Barnard the the Baobab clinches win at photography contest, okay? Grocery. New trees planted in Cosmopolis City, local dock bar. Cool. CEO of Watwat Social Media Platform, planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. Okay, so two people must die. Spread these people out here. We can take a look at them. Gregoire, Gregoire Hayal. Archaeologist, legitimate researcher, or greedy tomb raider, 
Consensus has not been reached when it comes to the, this noted archaeologist. For the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts around the Feridian region. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian Delgado, 25. Pool cleaner. Adrian's stream is to become a trophy partner to a rich person. To achieve this, they make a living cleaning rich people's pools, hoping to be noticed when scrubbing without a shirt on. Oh yeah, we're gonna probably kill you. Uh... Anya Karpova, data scientist. Who needs statistics when you have fancy algorithms and amazing concepts like AT and machine learning? Not Anya Karpova, that's for sure. They just put the data in and regard the result as absolute truth requiring no critique. The almighty machine knows all. I remember getting up at 4 a.m. to catch the train for uni and just seeing that shit everywhere on your feed. Oh no. Even Miatalov, the student. I, Ivan is a student at the local Polytechnical Institute, but their real passion is hiking. They're preparing for a challenging skiing trip to nearby mountains with a group of friends. On the completion of this trip, they would all be awarded uh, the highest hiker certificate. The well, one I know for absolute certain dies is you. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. These other three people aren't evil. Um, this guy could, you know, you could argue this guy might be a bit of a protagonist syndrome asshole. Is that Dyatlov Pass? That's if that's if that's a reference to, to Dyatlov, then that's uh, that's clever. Uh, you're, you're a data scientist, and you're an NPC who just praises the machine, so... You know, uh, no Mechanicus today. This time, there will be a survivor at Diet Love Pass. <laughs> That's the toy. As you enter, the cat is whacking the chew toy aggressively with her paws. Squeak, squeak, the toy cries in the most despondent voice possible. Oh, I still can't believe how fluffy you are. <coughs> Meow, the cat mutters, the most annoyed tone possible. I just want to pet you, cat. I'll be I'll be polite though here this time. Be right right, be professional. I'm here for the daily thing. With majestic grace, the cat lowers her head onto a pile of documents. Meow, yeah, the cat notes while casually twirling around her on her spot, pawing at the table. I'll take this to mean that I'm doing well. The cat carelessly stretches and shakes herself, seeming more or less pleased. A swift nod towards the door with her head makes it clear you should be leaving. Fucking money! All right. So we can get a plant, we can get this. I do like our pumpkin head though, so I don't really know if we need to get this. This also might be important to save up for. You know what, let's get the plant while we're here. My cactus. Face your eyes upon this mighty ball. You wouldn't believe how long I searched for it at the exalted land of Cacti. Just to get me blanges on one beans. Finally, unearthed it at the white desert of Mub. It did not start there, however. Tis a traveling cactus. You never see it move, but boy, does it get around. <laughs> Did we name the spiky ball somewhere? Something? I have no. I mean, if you have a, if you have like a cactus veggie name in your mind, like I'm not gonna complain. The bar isn't open. I guess they're only open on like specific days. And that would make sense. Peyote. <laughs> Fucking peyote. Instruction. What the fuck?
Hey, there's our spiky boy. Minecraft movie looks fucking rancid. I have not seen the trailer, no. Morning, Grim. My, your hands will be kept mighty busy today. What the darn have you been up to... been up to over at the office? From what I can see in the data, it looks like a proper mess. Okay. Okay. A total of seven humans have to die. At least two humans with a religious background have to die. Spare any retired people if possible. Well, no time to waste. I'm gonna lean forward. I hate I, I hate that I have to lean forward to read any of this shit, but I think I have to do that. Wow, okay. So I'm leaning forward now. A total of seven humans have to die. That is fucking crazy. Spare any retired people if possible. So we have to find the one retired person and uh, just kill everyone else, unfortunately. Michael Batar, why is this red? It has live action humans, but high graphics RTX looking Minecraft. It's actually fucking rancid, like I can't use any other word. Why did they just make it an animated movie? Like a fully animated movie. They could have mo-capped the characters. Like what the fuck? McCall has been a dedicated worker at the Okay Grim, yes, you, listen up. Why are you such a tool, sitting at your desk, going all over the profiles like a mindless drone? It's time to break the rules. I want you to do all the profiles today. All of them. Prove you're not completely useless. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my job. Jack Black plays Steve like it's just normal Jack in an ugly blue v-neck sweater. That is unbelievable. Here's the thing, though. If enough people complain, they might pull a Sonic. Because if you remember, the original Sonic movie, when it was uh, first debuted, everyone hated the character design for Sonic. They thought it looked ugly as fuck, and it was awful. And they hated it so much that they literally, re like, redid, like, a bunch of the CGI in the movie just to make sure people didn't think it was ugly. So they might, you know, turn around if everybody complains and, like, then force, like, the actors to mocap instead of just being themselves. Can they really pull that off, though? Edit out everyone and just make them enemy and humans? I don't know. I don't know how much work it is. I really don't. But like, if they're already, if the if the background is already like a bunch of CGI shit, then I don't think it would be that hard to edit the humans out, and then just put the like, isn't that would that be like two different layers of filming, right? Because one is the background that's just CGI, the others are the actors in their like their green screen stage. So just remove the green stage, say the green screen stage footage, you know, but use but use all their voiceovers. This is where I complain as a woman of color. There's a fat black woman whose only purpose seems to be to say, Ah, oh, hell nah, <laughs> and the like. Oh, God. Oh, wow. How high? That's so high, brown. Very 80s. All right. Graham Hollett, sect member. Praise the revelation, cries Graham, often so-called right-hand person of Mercury. Cries Graham, the often so right-handed person of Mer of Mercury, uh, Mercury Saint Eons of the Path of Glory. Little as though they're past, they only joined the commune at the very beginning. They seem to be an organizational brain behind the whole affair. Yeah, I'll kill that guy. We we have to save one person that is retired. Spare any retired people if possible. S Samuel von Selick, editor. Samuel is an editor with a tragic past. 
One day's all one they've always kept to themselves. Every day it gnaws at them, causing intense sorrow that they that can never be alleviated. To them and all, they've become addicted to painkillers, which even cause them to hallucinate mythological things. Well, you're not retired. I'm sorry. Mike Jordan retired. Mike loves bird watching and nature, although they and their spouse live in the middle of the city. They've written six books about birds. They're still in good shape and go to dancing twice a week. Okay, well, that's one potential retiree. Mahala Ai, sous chef. Mahala is a rising star in the culinary world, vicariously executing the head chef's will with an iron fist and a brass mouth. The workers have daydreams of their tragic demise. Wow, okay. Armin Lefebvre. If it were, or something. Le Femve? Le Femve? I don't know. There's nothing Armin likes to do more than gossip. Work working as a hairdresser provides ample opportunity for this hobby. Due to memory issues, Armin occasionally starts gossiping about the client they're currently in the process of working on. Not retired. Baltasar Bowers, 53, ex-child actor. As a child, Baltasar starred in a series of somewhat popular, if critically lambasted, films. Mockery and subsequent demand to prove themselves drew, grew into their psyche. They soon spiraled into alcoholism and drug abuse until they met Mercury, who invited them to join all the downtrodden at the Path of Glory commune. Oh, we're killing these people. Don Millebrand, cultist. John started to follow a prominent lifestyle guru on social media a few years ago. What began as an innocent interest in uh, wall painting soon transformed into an unwavering ins insistence that wallpaper is the only acceptable wall covering. But you have no achievements, so you're just called former child. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go. Let's look at this first. Flexing gone wrong. Local pool cleaner drowns while showing off muscles. Good. Historians warn. Artifact looting on the rise, especially in formerly war-torn Faridon. Polito. We have to we have to do something about the looting that's re-escalating the conflict. Influencer. Wallpapers are the fashion as of now. Get wallpapers now or be lame. Hey yo, hey CJ. So, uh, everyone dies except this guy. Wait, let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, everybody dies except this dude. This guy lives. So, sorry, everyone, but, uh, it's time for you all to perish. A lot of you are cultists, anyway, so... Have fun with wallpaper when your ceiling leaks. <laughs> Hello, kitty cat. As you enter, you see the cat prone and eyeing the rubber toy with utmost suspicion. All of a sudden, she turns her attention to you! Devious glimmer in her eyes. By the way, I'm, I, I, should, I forgot. There's some background programs I should close. We want to minimize crashing like we did in the first stream. All right. The cat continues to stare, her tail wagging in a manner that seems pleased. Today went well. I think I even feel a bit proud. Ugh, all those deaths. That was awful. Lady Poddington sits in silence, an accusatory look in her eyes. What, you think I caused that mess somehow? The cat continues her silence. How could I have caused that? I do what I'm told. No way, cat, I did not make a mistake. Catsily rotates her head to the right. Don't give me that look, I'm a good worker. Oh, I did cause those deaths? No. <laughs> Catsily rotates her head to the left. I have to contact Fate, I need answers. Why am I even yelling at a cat anyway? Cat blinks. I have to contact Fate, I need answers. The cat switches her paw to the odd looking telephone on the table. 
Pick up the receiver. You recognize a familiar voice, although it sounds grainy filtered through old-fashioned apparatus. Yes. Why is someone calling me through the office phone? The phone is for emergencies only. Hey, Fate, so I may have caused a few excessive deaths, maybe? This is an emergency. I think I really messed up somewhere. Hello? Hello? He can't hear us. Listen, whoever you are. Uh, probably grim. Okay, whatever happened, whatever you did, you probably did not cause it all by your lonesome. Things always happen in the world, so, you know, do not worry. You can always choose better tomorrow. But, phone is silent. Fate has already hung up. Lady Poddington utters a bewildered meow that performs the closest thing a cat can do to a shrug. You had your chance, now it's time to leave. Is the bar open? Nope. This guy's open, though. I, this port offers the best trait in the universe. The Calavera! Only a, a noble craftsman can craft an... El finique of this calibre, calibre. <laughs> exquisite, tasty. No one can deny. I'd have the sweetest possible visage if I wore this. I like this. I like this. Like the fruit in me likes this. And I, I still like the pumpkin though. Or do I want this? What if it what if it never comes back to the shop? No, nah, that's not true. I've seen other ones come back to the shop. Right. Whoops, clicked out of the window on accident. It's fine though. Whee! Wait a minute, is this Oh, I can just hold it. I don't even need to click. Ahoy, lady. Okay, we have these what back I'm probably going to buy this coin later. Oh, I can buy it, buy it now? The thing which usually makes up buried treasure. Used to belong to the ruthless Corsair Thaddeus Thatcher, this one. Tis the last existing item of a lost civilization. Mad Thad lent it in their village. Gathered up each and every one. Sage and king and beggar alike. And let Lady Luck through this very coin cast judgment on all. About half the civilization died that day. The rest doomed to a slow extinction. Then make crew laid upon that war cavalry near the gorge of the Telenor. The battle was merciless, but the treasure was most exquisite. Anyway, tis useful if ye can is this like, what to eat for dinner. Is this like a D&D &D campaign world, but it's been advanced to like 2020s in technology? <laughs> what is going on with these places this man's talking about? Ha! Ah, can I put this coin in here? I can. Read this. Good day, Grim. The world is a wondrous thing. Oh, what have I seen out here? Now, do try to balance out the turmoil of yesterday. Success can be forged, but with a handful of deaths, yes? Quote of the day, three humans must die. Spare any humans with a law background. An, unfor an unforeseen logic guides our hand, but a logic nonetheless. All right. Ex-shot actor found dead at the Path of Glory commune after police raid. Drug overdose suspected. Oh, all these people are committing suicide at the... Okay, mass suicide at the Path of Glory. Entire commune dead by what looks like an overdose at the behest of noted speaker and cult leader Mercury St. Eowns. Unidentified body found in a lake. Accidental drowning presumed. Tragic death of sous chef. Two different types of poison found in the body. Cause of death hyperthermia due to being locked in the freezer. Wow, what the fuck? That's extremely murderous. 
Local school. Bad hair days increase in frequency as lo after death of local hairdresser. Oh, fucking shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, three must die. Spare any with a law background. I hate this. Why? <sighs> That's that's an idea. I can just put it underneath stuff. Wow, we have a lot of we have a lot more people than I thought. I thought we had like four, but no, we have a lot more documents than that. Melissa S. McGill, special agent, is agent for the Bureau of Agricultural Espionage. Has always wanted to be a bodyguard for the president, as they have extensive experience in safeguarding the well-being of crops and other flora. They once even played double agent for two contesting potato mag magnates. Okay, that's weird. Jake Bartoski, unemployed. Jake, a self-proclaimed, a self-prescribed chemist, loves to create new interesting recipes in their kitchen. Jake's latest work involves mixing opioids and, up and uppers. They also enjoy showcasing their new adventures at the local club scene. Oh, drugs, drugs, drugs. Daiju Egawa. Event organizer 52. Daishu has been involved in organizing over 200 events, including anything from tacky themed weddings to experimental VP, VIP live architecture ex exhibitions inside ancient tombs. Now Daishu focus so focuses solely on throwing fundraising galas for the moder moderately rich to save the planet. Rasa Gilroy, priest. Rasa has tried to be a stalwart guide to the spiritually lost for over 40 years. They've always been open-minded towards philosophical criticisms. Now in their old age are growing doubtful about religion in general. They also they are also suspicious of the fundamentalist dogma that's been slowly creeping into theology. Nicholas Zhao, 43, spy. Nicholas was sent to Cosmopolis City from a rival country to learn national secrets. And nobody suspects them because they're well integrated a well-integrated sleeper agent. The success of their mission could prove catastrophic. They built a family for cover, although Nicholas has become increasingly attached to them. Francois Fukushima. Scam artist. A liar and a grifter, Francois is an ex-politician who has spent years writing books of ignorant nonsense. These words and actions caused a veritable butterfly effect of misery on a global scale which they now profit off of. Law background. Okay, maybe... Okay, just because you work for the government doesn't mean you have a law background. Let's get some out of the way that I, I'm totally fine with perishing. Oh, right, this guy. I don't want to spare the spies, necessarily. This lady is just, like, a, a weirdo, really. Lady, I don't think Trump would have benefited by someone who's not tall enough to guard his head and shoulders. <laughs> 200 events. Maybe he can live? I want... I think I want these two guys to live. I don't... But I don't know if these spies count as law backgrounds. Isn't a law background more like being a judge or some shit? Daisy or whatever his name is looks like white Harry, white Asian Harry Potter. Well, he's dead. Wide. Oh, oh, right, right. Huh. Maybe these two people count, though, as law. As law people. I guess I'll let the, or the event organizer die. And everyone else can live.
Oh, kill me. Usually I can read the hiragana and the katakana stuff. I don't know how I'm forgetting the first symbol there, but it's like, it's something ri bote or boke, some one of those two. Oh, hari pota. I see. Hey, CJ, how you doing? We're uh, we're killing people. We're the Grim Reaper. Ket's sea seems to be in slumber, occasionally emanating a soft, snore-like purr. Seemingly in sleep, she swings her languid paw at the rubber toy. No, I just misremembered hot as high. <laughs> week, week, the toy laments their misery. Psst, kitty cat, time for review. After a pause, the cat sluggishly sniffs the usual pile of documents waiting on the table. Cat continues accepting documents for a few seconds, then turns away, seemingly pleased. Hey, can I ask you some questions instead? The cat stares at you, slowly blinking. What do you think of fate? <laughs> meow meow, the cat no uh, notes melodiously. He blinks at you, perplexed. Well, what do you think of death? The cat shakes herself in a manner which seems entirely indecipherable. He blinks you perplexed. What do you think of the common systems of, of taxation? <coughs> meow, the cat meows. I mean, taxing the impoverished, giving cuts and benefits to the already rich. The cat looks at you quizzically. The whole setup only creates a trickle-up trickle up system where it's equal to begin with. <laughs> Without taxes, I can sleep on my pile of money. <laughs> the cat absentmindedly pokes the papers on the table with her paw. <laughs> I'm glad you agree, cat. The cat starting to nod off. It technically has nodding in it, so it signals agreement. He blinks at you. This is informative. I'll be going now. The cat curls back into a ball and continues her previous disturbed slumber. <laughs> Money! What, what's he selling now? Let's take a look. Oh, only one thing. Okay. All right. And what day is the bar open? The rules. My God, that's seven. Lucky day, or is it? Ah, the unjustly denigrated unlucky number 13. I fail to see the, re the relevance of this kind of numerology. It is but a day, like the other days. Quota for the day, five, three humans have to die. Humans in the field of religion have to die. Spare any humans with any... Artistic background? Autistic background? I'm not sure what that says. Five people. Autism, artism, same thing. <laughs> Suppose so. So three must die. Humans in the field of religion have to die. So we have to kill people who are religious. Vicar. Okay. Jesse is committed, uh, Jesse Ford, 61. Jesse is committed to writing the perfect sermon and are thus obvious to the turmoil at home and are thus oblivious to the term at home. Turmoil at home. Their spouse is fighting a substance abuse problem and their children are planning de debanched parties. Luckily, Jesse just found a new maid with unusual but effective methods for keeping things under control. So you are religious, you must die. Automotive? Un well, he might be religious. Or her, she, whatever. Shannon Green. Shannon is a squatter and dumpster diver who likes to renovate old buildings in order to live in them with friends. They travel a lot by train and manage a community garden. 
esoteric self-help mentor, Orissa. No last name? After years of struggling to pay their debts by selling nostalgia-laden merchandise of vaguely self-help nature, Orissa found a brand new avenue into helping people for money, dyed rocks, and magic-infused minerals. Masashige Onilanzo. Still a part-time scholar, part-time engineer, and part-time musician who delights in building their own musical instruments out of scrap and spare parts. Uh, huh? I haven't seen this before? Okay. It's the only religious person we, we already have, but three must die. Uh, let's look at... So this person is a squatter. Uh, just get that out of the way. This person is a scam artist. And this person here is a scam artist, so... Gerhard Fegerjord, 26. Gerhard cuts and carves stone blocks out of stone at the local quarry. That's basically it. There's very little else going on in their lives. Their dream is to visit some of the highest mountains of the world and maybe cut a tiny chunk of stone out of those too, okay? Rafika Alquira, aerodynamics engineer. Rafika is very much into renewable energy and has been trying to figure out new experimental ways of making power generation more efficient. Yep. They also love flying kites and playing with their dog. Yep. What the fuck? I didn't know I could... I didn't know I could write on them like that. Umberto doesn't really have much to do these days. Can I... Wait, hold on. Can I run on this? No, I can't. What if we have to kill puppies in this game? Isn't there a different game that's like a euthanasia? It's like this, but it's like euthanasia for animals? Pretty sure that's a game that, that, that we've seen before. Umberto doesn't have really have much to do these days at the manufacturing plant, as automation has made car building much faster and more efficient. Mostly, they look at computer screens, checking for errors. At home, they love tinkering with their own 77 Dio Pulsar. Yeah, the pet detective game, yeah. This guy's cool. A reason to, uh... God damn it. Wait, I forgot my phone! Oh, shit. That's ah, too late. When will fate be back? The cat lounges on the table, brushing her ear with her paw. Without even glancing at documents, she purrs softly, content at your accuracy and com competence. The phone right here, though. How long do I have to report to you? The cat tiptoes around in her spot, ignoring your question. Meow, she knows, then curls into a ball, indicating it's time for you to leave. Oink. Chuck, chunk up the oink bank. What? Hey! Nice. Oh no, it's Sans Undertale. So they're open once a week. Say, uh, so I've been thinking, and uh, I was hoping you'd explain it to me. Since how do you make good choices? How do you really decide who gets to live and who doesn't? Flipping a coin, let chance decide. <laughs> I don't really care. I pick whoever. Uh. I carefully compare all data within the requirements. Your dedication and diligence are no further. Must take you a long time, though. I don't usually go for like the bragging options, but I kind of want to just say this. Not that long. I'm very good at it. You may be, but the hope that everyone else is on the same level. Never mind me. Simply ain't one to trust a chain when I can see the other end. Can't see the other end. Voice actress lady. 
I forgot the name of the game, so I googled death and taxes but animals, and there's a Reddit post asking the same thing, but the mods deleted all replies and disable it for no reason. Weird. Okay, then another question I've been pondering about the <laughs> That's so weird. Do you think about the people after you've made the decision? Or do you forget all about them after it's done? I mean, if I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, I remember, but what's done is done. Doesn't all of it make you anxious? Pet inspector. <laughs> Called pet inspector. I found a meme I made of Hibana on it, and it had the name. <laughs> Doesn't all of it make you anxious? Sure makes me, and I ain't even the one choosing. Gazing upon the decision Across space and time. Anyway, this has been enlightening. Thanks for the answers. Anything I can get you? What's the deal with Lady Poddington? Bates cat. She's an adorable fur ball, ain't she? Always snooping around in search of mischief. She sneaks down here too, so I feed her a few morsels. Yeah, she's ultra cute. Almost unnaturally so. Yeah, across space and time. Like how you sound because your volume is so low. <laughs> it's nice she keeps fate company. Fate's archaic. All those aeons might not be good for the, you know, mentality. What else you got in mind? Someone contacted me using a profile. Oh. What did this mysterious entity want? Asked me to mark everyone to death for one. And you following? Or what? Not telling could be dangerous. You're already dead, ain't you? What's the worst that could happen? <sighs> Elsewise, truth be told, I'm of little help. I don't know what goes around in the office. I just own the den. Wait, wait, wait. Well, well, my assumption was that the red profile was like somebody trying to sabotage me, and not it wasn't fate trying to do that. Why I didn't follow that. I have some purple and glue, blue glitter that I want to combine to a pretty paint shade. What would you call it? it has to be an anime game ref or a veggie pun. Oh goodness, purple and blue glitter. I'm blanking. My brain is too slow. <laughs> what else you got in mind? Sure. What's your poison? Holy fuck! I don't want to spend this much money on a drink. Milk, please. Uh, going straight edge. I get where you're coming from. Guiba, wave your <laughs> no. Drink it alone. It tastes like milk. I'll be going down. Au revoir, little reaper. I forget her name, but she's cute. The fuck is this Sans Undertale motherfucker? Yes? I'm Spawn23, what's your name? The name is Frank Whittle. <laughs> British. Hang on, we don't have to be numbered spawns? Well, I used to be spawn number 142, but... It but sometimes you just wish you had a more memorable name. But I wanted to stand out more. <laughs> you know. Joe's the name for yourself? Oh, yes. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <sighs> Explain your intense emanating sadness. Do you know about the butterfly effect? Yes, of course. Well, what if I'm that butterfly? It's haphazardly fluttering around and then millions of souls perish in anguish. Really don't think that's how it works. No, <laughs> you're not listening. 
just like everyone else. I don't want that on my conscience. I can't handle it. And that's, that's the least of our problems. Last week someone put my escaper in a large jar of strawberry jelly. What the fuck? Of every name to choose, just Frank. <laughs> yeah, Frank Whittle. How did you get it out? I, panic. I tried to eat the stapler to freedom. Oh, that went as badly as you can imagine. I chipped it too. Some of my bones still stick together. And that's still not all of it. Last month I had to work in the dog department. Oh my god. But I love dogs. No, not the dogs! I know, right? At least be like Ultra Fuck Lord or something! And the people <laughs> in the dog department, the absolute bad apples. I was scared for the afterlife, I was. But you know, before that, someone filled my room with balloons. Someone filled my room with balloons. Hang on, is someone just picking on you? Yes, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I have an inkling it's the one they call Lance Thrasher. What? Lance Thrasher? Yes, and people keep telling me how great Lance Thrasher is. Imagine you're the guy who has to kill kittens. Oh, God, yeah. Ugh. How fun they are to hang out with. How awesome they are. How amazing. How they tell the best jokes and get into the craziest shenanigans. They immediately sound exhausting. Yes, right? I don't get it either. So, I thought I had to let them know. I walked straight over to Lance and I told them that I don't find them riveting and I don't particularly <laughs> care about their lame jokes. Then what happened? Then Lance just said, keep it real. And then went on to do a handstand on their desk. What? Everyone in the office started chanting their name. Remember the Tom and Jerry episode where Jerry goes to the gates of heaven and there's a bunch of kittens in a wet bag? Yeah, I remember that. Yep. Lance, Very fucked up. Lance, Lance, Lance. What a legend! <laughs> and then they put your stapler in a jar of strawberry and jelly? All those other things. Why do you think it's them? The culprit keeps writing Thrasher was here on everything with a marker. So, problem solver, what do you think? What should I do? Figures, shoddy workplace conditions overseen by mediocre management. Didn't Tom and Jerry kill themselves at one point? You're They've right. done weird cartoon shit, the yeah. The of the office do seem rather shoddy. I'll write a strongly worded complaint letter to fate. That'll set things straight. I'll start working on it right away. Thanks. What the fuck? No, oh, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Who's this? Who's this Miki Taka looking motherfucker? Accentuate the morphological feel or some reclassification of the flaming stratum. Ah, I should have known. Scaffolding of the antediluvian complex. Oh, maybe. Meta resonance trigger. What's going on, strange fellow? <laughs> I am the prime curator of the abysmal archive, the archive of all existence. Oh boy! All the bits I've managed to catalog thus far. Did you know there is a lot of existence? Figured more than you are able to conceive. But never mind all that. I shouldn't disturb you with ancient accounts. As you're talking to one of the archive, I suppose you have numerous questions. Worldly questions. I'm happy to oblige. What is it you wish to learn? 
I got a red profile with a message. Did you send it? Definitely not. I wouldn't dare to interfere with the fine-tuned pipeline of profile selection. This is a most dire breach of conduct. I hope there wasn't anything inappropriate on the file. Yeah, it asked me to break the rules. Most terrible. I hope you dealt with the matter accordingly. We must be vigilant for these lapses in judgment. A data monger, a reaper. Someone grows disillusioned with the structure before them and develops a heart of rebellion. Maybe they're thinking outside the box. Friend, the box is there for a reason. Mere spawns should not defy highest management, for they know what they're doing. We are a complex clockwork whole. If one falls out of line, the whole begins to suffer. The system lags, becomes less efficient, and less accurate. Itaka, why are you so gay now? <laughs> this can lead to a grievous cataclysm. For the Being world British? Depends on our cohesion. What's going on in the archive? Much can be told. Alas, you're not of the correct conviction to learn it all. Suffice to say, the Archive holds and protects matters concerning the entire cosmos. What do you mean by correct conviction? Young Spawn, your mind is pierced by disorder and volatility. Often you gripe, blame others, and cry out with self-serving frustration. Fuck you! Seek out a more balanced ethos, and you may get to peek deeper into the abysmal Archive. Mikitaka, do you go to Tonio's? He probably doesn't because he probably can't eat human food normally. Immeasurable these days. What little you see down in the cellar is but a tiny corner. What is it you do in the archive? There's a lot to do. I gather, protect, and curate. It must be kept in order to guarantee optimal research conditions. You see, many archives are also research centers. Others come to examine our files, trying to find interesting new topics. Or they rediscover old themes and ideas. Tons of fun, you know you We also provide population data for the calculatorium. Mm-hmm. Any other questions? How does the office function? Efficiently, as far as I can tell. I mean, how many floors does this place have? Um, can I recall the number? I haven't counted for so long. Seems to me it gets bigger all the time, but not all can see all the floors, yes. Floor visibility is restricted by necessity. How many departments are there? How many entities are there? All across the cosmos. I reckon there are as many as must be. Did anything else happen in the office? What would you deem more interesting than managing the intricacies of life and death, eh? Although, wild things happen over at accounting beyond belief when it comes to filing tax forms you can't even imagine what they get up to mm -hmm. any other questions some of the history of the office ah, our most venerable tower of drudgery where all fortunes get decided this place in particular hundreds of years how, i asked how old is this place you think that's not very long don't you yeah well we had to relocate the original place got too crammed due to growing activity. <laughs> Built the new office. Fate had it commissioned. Found a couple of talented young architects who had just started a new bureau. I think it was called Langenfried. Hmm. Took some effort to find the perfect spot in Cosmopolis, but the construction went smoothly. Who was the first Reaper? Spawn number one. <laughs> They're not around anymore, though. Meticulous at first, but grew rather erratic over time. So fate had to fire them. Straight into the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Thanks for the answers. See ya. I hope you enjoyed our talk. I must return to the archive. I hear it. Strange. Very fucking weird. I guess I go to bed now. Oh, 
Fate's back. Grim Mail. Okay. Morning, Grim. I expect you in my office for your performance review after you are done today. Do not worry about that right now, though. Focus on the task at hand. Quote of the day, six humans have to die. Anyone related to the, to the transportation industry has to die. Two humans... Wait, what? Choose humans on the left side of the profile bundle to die. What? Looking forward to the review. Choose humans on the left side of the profile bundle. So these four... No, these five. These five. We have to choose people among these. Okay, transportation industry. Europa Steel. Well, actually, wait. Let's uh, look at the phone again before I forget. Abandoned mine sh shaft collapses. Unidentified body found within debris. Local Vicar passes suddenly of heart failure in a religious convention. Help delayed as heart attack construed as a punchline. It, it's a unique. It's not an unique. A unique development in wind turbine design found increases energy production while lowering costs. Another family in poverty after joining a multi-level marketing scheme. Genetically modified crops proven to be a hoax. Use all natural fertilizers. Five, five simple exercises in five seconds, okay? In five seconds? What? So, related to the transportation industry. Imogen Solanus. Prosecutor. This prosecutor has what it takes when it comes to always getting their conviction numbers up. No matter what, they'll try to trick every trick of the book to get defendants, especially those in a different na national background, convicted of any, no matter how frivolous the offense. Oh, okay. Well, that's a bit racist. <laughs> Duara Shu, personal trainer. Duara helps young people get excited about lifting weights, being physically active in general. They also make a lot of easily accessible social media content, teaching proper lifting form to prevent injuries. Duara is starting... Start started a fund to support children's sports facilities. I don't want to kill that guy. Choose humans on the left side to die. But there's... If I have to kill six people, there's not... There's... Only five here, so I have to pick from the right side as well. Eli Logan. Grave robber. When people started burying their loved ones together with their valuables, Eli started digging. The belief that possessions could somehow be taken to the afterlife seemed very silly to Eli. They called themselves a tomb diver. Europa Steel, 37. Recruiter. Europa is a top gun at many multi-level marketing companies that sell everything from super juices and vitamins to toilet scrubs. Despite starting their every recruitment pitch with not a pyramid scheme, but they keep bringing in dozens of naive people every week. Franklin Haver. Franklin considers themselves a hotshot pilot, having modeled their demeanor after an action movie they saw at a young age. They wear large sunglasses all the time, drive around on a motorcycle, and attempt to reckless stunts in their aircraft. Transportation, farmer inventor, grave digger, streetcar operator, literary critic. Hakan Tradeski, 57, streetcar operator. When younger Hakan was a driver of both ambulances and fuel trucks for the military, now they drive a streetcar all across Cosmopolis City. They have driven it for almost three decades. In their spare time, they watch a lot of television and solve all sorts of crosswords and puzzles. Sorry, my friend, but you are in the transportation industry. So you are now dead. Leyland, so... 
Does that mean I'm forced to kill these two people? Because they're in the left pile? I guess that's I guess that's just how it has to be. Like I've been told, that's what I've been told, so. Unfortunately. Ahmad Zakaria, farmer inventor. Ahmad has never been happy with status quo. As in it, as in with whatever they currently happen to have, they're always aiming higher and further, experimenting in various certain fields in order to find new ways for ever more productive crops, okay? Leland Polya Polyakov. Grave digger, a yellow sun rises, shots have been fired tonight, is what Leyland says every morning, looking into the distance, preparing for all the crime victims that inevitably get brought in that day. Occasionally, they find bones from the dirt they use and use them to act out key scenes from Whamlet. What? Henry Birch, literary critic. When the adolescent Henry poked a few fellow students with a pen, they realized from that moment onwards their best friends will only be found on the pages of a book as these friends cannot directly be directly poked with pens. What? Oh, fate. I have returned. Did you miss me? Sure, I like our little chance. Great. I am glad you enjoy our frequent discourse. So, okay. Yes. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. Is Henry a fucking autist? I mean, when he's picked, if he's, if that, if, if he designed his entire life based upon poking people with pens, then yeah, probably. But before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. Where did I place those papers? Please. Where are you? Ah, here we go. Right. Seems to be correct, or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, I would not say that. In essence, you are a solid and dedicated worker. You play by the book do what you are told. There is little to criticize in your conduct, except perhaps for the minor lack of independence. You mean I don't think on my own? Nothing so grand, but do you really think life is all about following rules? One might expect at least an inkling of rebellion. Does an autonomous personality hide anywhere within your skull? You are dependable. Faithful, trusted. Is that all you are content with? Now, obviously, you are to be granted a small bonus. No one can argue you have not earned it. Keep it up. The ultimate evaluation is in two weeks. Oh, so you get get a uh, twenty-one days in this game. All right. Wow, that's a lot of money. Holy shit. Oh, the bar is open again. Oh, so, oh, right, I went to it this morning, didn't I? I'm stupid. This, CJ, this is the second week. So in two weeks, after the second week is four weeks. Back from our booty, are you? <laughs> Still can't get the globe. Ears of the Beast. I'm gonna save up for the globe now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest. Oh yeah, I meant twenty-eight. You're right. Is that our phone? MLM recruiter demonstrates company's flagship super juice, Poison Self. <laughs> Experimental farmer arrested for poisoning hectares of farmland with homemade fertilizer. Land unusable for years to come. Ooh, that's not good. 
foolhardy pilot attempts complicated aerial stunt, crashes aircraft straight into the ground. Man, vehicle crash locations must be horrific. You ever thought about that? Like the kind of state these bodies are in after crashing a plane or a car? Must be, uh, must be like, it must be vomitously grisly. Beast Culture Mag. Thesis on the Zeitgeist wins second prize at the local essay competition. Legendary prosecutor struck by a massive icicle dies instantly. It was truly a massive icicle. Biggest I've ever seen. Witnesses notes to reporters. Grave robber found dead with a bite mark on their neck. Spooky. Missionary Adam. Read the ten best science fiction novels from an early atomic age. What? Congratulations, Grim. You passed the performance review as expected, but let us not dwell on the past. I need you to focus on the future. This will be a tough one today. Be attentive. Quote for the day. Six must die. Three humans with a scientific background have to die. Two humans aged 30 or younger have to die. Okay. Let's look for science backgrounds first. Three. Three of them. We have to sort them out specifically. Nora Sophia Ethel, 39, white-collar criminal. Nora turned to regular embezzlement after their multi-level marketing scheme failed. The beauty products and cognitive enhancers were just not selling. All this to pay off their mortgage to keep their child in a decent school. Nora films claymation shorts with their, in their spare time. Not a scientist. Field worker, 29, Ingold Vala. Ingold works on a farm where they do the usual farm stuff. They used to work at a high-stress economics position, but got really sick of the anxiety and decided to swap it out for some tranquil manual labor. It was a pretty pointless job anyway. Fiona Yao, 22, mathematician. A sharp mind and quick wit have served Fiona well. They are a math expert, maths expert in a popular science show. Making maths cool again, hoping no one notices their extensive tax fraud endeavors. Nija Basra, geneticist. Nija is secretly researching the genetic combining of plants and animals. In addition to mammals capable of photosynthesis and sunflowers with ears, they also dreamt of a pet hedgehog with an actual head instead of spines. So far, the research has been costly, but they believe it's for a greater good. Their colleagues are on high alert. You yeah, know, we're gonna kill you, probably. Nuclear physicist Benazir Al-Ram. Benazir was inspired to study nuclear physics by old science fiction novels. Their original plan was to build some sort of atomic death ray, as seen in their favorite novel, which alas never went anywhere. But by the time they'd become an accom but by that, that time they'd become an accomplished and respected physicist. Okay. Ara Sayyid Aldin, radiologist. Ala works long shifts at the local hospital giving both MRT and CT scans. They can handle even the most difficult patients, take great care to do the job correctly, and they've been chosen as a radiologist many months of times. Okay. Hacker, Nayari Alethia, 36. Why do all the young people in this game look like they're twice as old as their actual age? I'm off to sleep. Need to wake up early. See you tomorrow. You have a good night, man. We will see you tomorrow. Nayari, online alias Cryptomancer, was inspired to become an IT specialist hacker by reading old cyberpunk novels. They were arrested and banned from using any computers for 15 years after they crashed the Cosmo Cosmopolis stock market. They still are very interested in modern crypto cryptography algorithms. Cool. Anson Sin, Sinner. Anson loves to sin and is committed to performing all four deadly sins daily. They live in a cave outside the city, avoiding law enforcement. That's funny. So three, six must die, three have to have science background. So not all of them need to have a science background, but three of them do. So we need to pick three among these, among them.
Um, we'll keep Allah is gonna live. In fact, what I should do is just hit the live button. The rest of these people will uh, will perish. They're sus anyway. This person was making a death ray. This person is trying to uh, unethically experiment. And this person is uh, just breaking the law. We need three more deaths, however. So obviously, go with him. So now we need one more. No, we need two more. Oh, fuck. We need two more among these guys. Oh, that guy's fine. This person is a scammer. This person is a scammer, so I think this is easy to justify in my head. We still need one more to die, though. This person broke the law a bunch. This person is just... There's the farmer. I'm sorry, but oh well. It... What's wrong with the little tax fraud? Well, what's wrong is that it is slightly uh, worse than, you know, being just a good radiologist. Like, that's the, that's the only real thing, right? This person is just a good radiologist. They have nothing wrong with them. But at least that, but this person at least is breaking the law in a way. So it's like, okay, yeah, I don't... I guess, the, I'll, guess I'll pick them out of the three scientists. I, I did everyone, right? Oh, no. They hit live on you. You're just a farmer. You're like the Stardew Valley guy. Wait. Did we read these? Yes, we did. Okay. Whoops. <sighs> hope the game doesn't end after 21 days. 28 days. I hope you are doing well. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? Saw a lot of pain and suffering. It was sad. I mean, killing that time I had to kill eight people was uh, pretty fucking crazy. Or was it seven? It was something. It was something absurd. Rough. Things got really bad. The world certainly has that tendency. Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The papers. Papers. I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay. Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Oh well, what must be done? Hey, you've been in existence for like forever, and you're only now just getting tired of it? Speaking of. Yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? I'm not so sure about the whole rebellion thing you spoke of. Oh, the fancy of my imagination. Take it as a metaphor. This reminds me. Have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a personable dialogue. Still a bit unclear on the origin of the rules. What do you mean? Do you pick what's supposed to happen and thus make it happen? Am I the one who actually picks and makes things happen? Pick this one first. Oh, nothing of the sort. The world, and the people therein, create the situation themselves without our interference. Yeah, but what about the rules of the mandates of who dies and who, like, when you give me the fucking rules every day, like, how are those determined? Our data mongers assemble examine wide swathes of data and calculate the parameters for the necessary equilibrium. We do not directly cause deaths, although our choices can modify the structure slightly. How can that be? If I mark profiles, don't these decisions affect other people? Hmm, in a sense. But this is certainly not a one-to-one -one sequence of causal links. You should consider Time works a bit differently in here. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? How long is a day anyway? Uh, 
the complexity of time. Imagine that it is not a fixed and stable entity. Are we going to get like a bunch of papers on our desk where everyone's job just says cave person? Because that would be so funny. I am sure you did not think only 15 days have passed since your arrival. Considering the frequency and magnitude of events in your moderately sized region. Huh, then how does it work? Time is an inconsistent flux. While you rest, days, weeks, months may pass at different intervals. Profiles from diverse moments appear on the same day, interlaced, within a rhizome of time and space stretching beyond mere four dimensions. Cool. That is why causal links are difficult to establish, and the equilibrium is of unfathomable complexity. Mm hmm Anything else? What's my history? Was I someone? You are a death spawn. I crafted you out of different materials. Where did my parts come from? The store. And places. You ever just go to a grocery store to look for human bones? I hear I hear they I hear that uh people don't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. Anything else? You play chess, I recall some film about death with tons of chess. No. I understand to this game called Go. Aesthetically pleasing, less violent and imperialistic. I've heard that Go is one of the most complex games ever invented. That like the number of moves you can, the like the combinations of pieces and moves in Go are like magnitudes larger than chess. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I heard at one point. Mm -hmm. Anything else? This was a lot. I should go rest. Oh, one more thing. It was nice of you to gift Lady the little gem. I am sure she appreciates it. Although, personally, I am growing rather tired of the incessant squeaking. Whoops. Sorry? A loud squeak interrupts from somewhere behind the table. Go is in my boy Hikaru. I need to read that manga, to be honest. I, I don't know what. Until tomorrow. I don't know anything about Go other than like those things that were that I heard in peripheral. Chess goes where you have to make Pikachu's attack each other. <laughs> so I think I have enough money. Shiver me the globe, right? Yep. You sure can't get enough for the Emporium. All right. Feel your flex twirl dis disquietly inside this glass globe, never settling. In the middle of the storm stands figures too difficult to discern. Everything seems to be in a state of constant transfiguration. Well, scuttle me both, why don't you? Clear as a crisp spring morn, I remember that day in the cave at the bottom of an ocean, but was guarded by a horrendous beast. So, had no choice but to underwater arm wrestle with the kraken. All eight tentacles. Afterwards, I met a hag with crow feet wrinkles on her face and wrinkled crow faces on her feet. She knew me well, though we had not met before. Gifted me this ominous glow. Maybe it was a warning of a kind. Maybe she just fancied me. <laughs> I did die about a week later. <laughs> that was a good pun. That was a good punchline. I like that. I like this game, it's neat. Less stressful than Papers, Please, as well. A never-ending storm brews, cloudy with a chance of annihilation. What is this ominous thing trying to tell me? It's the commune and the people committing suicide. Oh, God. Look here, Grim. How about we try out some brand new methods of strengthening the equilibrium? I have a great faith in these techniques of a more structural nature. 
My mom just gave me gamer health gummies. That is literally so funny. My brain cannot even, like, process myself into laughing. That is actually that funny. Like, the type of funny where you, you, you just don't even remember to laugh because it is so unbelievably funny. Why does this do a guitar riff? It says Monster Gamer on the fucking jar! <laughs> I mean, I, I guess at least she cares about you enough to actually go and do that. Yes, please take a picture. I need to see this later. How about we try some brand new methods of strengthening the equilibrium? My great faith in these techniques of a more structural nature. Wait, what? This is literally telling me what to do and I have no choice. It does have good vitamins in it, but like what? <laughs> yeah, gamer vitamins. A total of two humans have to die. The humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle have to die. This is literally just telling me what to do with no ambiguity whatsoever. Like I have to kill these two people. I kind of, in fact, if these people are, like, ultra-good people, I might actually break the rules this time. Why is this above? Maybe I'll put it here? Daya Sastri. 27, painter. Daya paints nudes and nudes only. Okay, maybe we will just kill them. For some reason, these paintings don't sell very well, and they've been playing around with the idea of pivoting into a life of sin after being inspired by the heroic death of a prominent sinner, Anson. <laughs> How did that happen? Weird. Caleb Sadi Randau, 30, junior researcher. Right after graduation, Caleb went to work at the Acadia Institution, where they have been researching strange experimental pathogens. The goal is to achieve a potential breakthrough in human cell regeneration. It's a pretty dangerous job, as it oftentimes involves the use of very sharp instruments. Amandas Hamir, Editor-in-Chief. Before, um, before Ama um, Amandas took over the Daily Moon, the newspaper was in decline. With ruthless determination, they turned the paper into a tabloid powerhouse we know today. While recklessly digging through the lives of others, they've used the paper suppre to suppress rumors about themselves. Anthony Rover, IT technician, 27. He looks 50. I also have puffed green bean chips. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, I have no idea what a green bean potato chip would taste like. I really like green beans, but I've never really pictured green beans in, like, a different form other than bean that's right out of the can. Anthony is a nice guy, working at a failing startup... Working at a failing startup of a friend. Often they walk their golden retriever around the local park meeting other dog owners. They're happy to help anyone with their tech issues. Expecting little in return, maybe only a nice warm meal. But if that happens to lead to more afterwards, they won't say no. Oh. Oh, you're a, de you're a degenerate. Oh, okay. Um. This guy is the only, is, like, deserves to live. I'm gonna break the rules this time. Like, I already saved up 1,800. I are, like, I, I picture, like, I feel like I got 1,800 and I got the fucking thing here. So I feel like I just don't want to... I feel like I just don't care about occasionally breaking the rules now. So I think I'm not, I'm gonna spare, I'm gonna spare this guy. I'm gonna kill everyone else. These people are degenerates. So, I am blatantly breaking the rules, but, like, I don't really like these particular rules. Wait, I forgot the... Did I, did I forget? Let's see. Crow News. Physicist sacrifices self in order to prevent radiation leak. That's inc... That's crazy. 
Ex-hacker shot in the street. Eyewitnesses describe a black SUV with tinted glasses escaping from the scene. Body of a local sinner found in a cave crushed under a pile of loot. <laughs> it's like it's like those mobile game commercials where you, there's this fake puzzle where you have to pull these pins to get the treasure or the lava. And it's like it's like you pull the pin and the treasure kills you. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> oh god. New CT scan machine design proposed by prominent radiologists entering prototype stage. Exciting. You see, we kept the radiologist alive and she did a good thing immediately. Similarly, we stopped this one we uh we did a good thing by killing one of those physicists because they sacrificed themselves to save people. Level one pleb versus mafia boss? Level one sinner versus ultimate Satan hero. <laughs> I broke the rules this time, he is not gonna be happy. He was talking about me rebelling, though. Grim, my fellow colleague, I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Should I become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique, after all. I have much experience. Or why not? Why not? Indeed. Why not? Is this him making a hypothetical based upon... Is he about to use this as, as an example of, uh... Like, scolding me? Like, this is why you should not do what you want. <laughs> I shall continue my contemplation. Okay, no, he's being sincere. But now, it is time for daily feedback. I didn't do what you wanted. Ah, you have marked more profiles than necessary. No choice but to log a reprimand. It is already your third week here. I do not understand how this keeps happening. This is the second time it's happened, you motherfucker. Well, Cat mutters hypothesis. I must return to my deliberations. Zero money. I just didn't like that one. A pleasure to see you. Okay, yeah, no, 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 let's, uh... Can't buy anything, didn't get paid, that's fine, don't care. Next day... Let's go... Seven? A fresh idea! I hope you are still well motivated from our performance discussion. You'll be required to demonstrate utmost precision today. All humans in the bottom row have to die. Keep the chaos away, will you? Okay. They reprimand you if you do and don't. That's why I hate upper managements. Yeah. Ellie Godfried, keyboardist. Ellie is not a virtuoso. They're not exactly what people would call particularly talented. However, they work hard and practice a lot. Their band has started doing all right, and Ellie has been able to quit their sector, service sector job to become a full-time keyboardist. The band has a fast-growing fan base. Blagadmiri Bogdan Baker. Blagadmiri dreams of organizing a pretzel invasion. Crushing opposition across all pa pastries. They actively promote pretzel supremacy. Pretzels shall one day rule the land of the confectionery. Verity Hawthorne, 55, industrial chemist. Verity has been working in the pharmaceutical industry for decades. Trying to find a deaccelerator for aging. While lately it seems that the discovery might actually can come from biogenetics, Verity is certain that they can concoct some sort of chemical compound that gets the job done. Well, like, we already know how to do this. We just don't know how to do this without giving people cancer. I don't know how her chemical is going to stop us from getting cancer. Let's read this, by the way. Human... Tomorrow Science. Human regeneration. Just around the corner or just a pipe dream? 
Managing editor of the Daily Moon drowns after caught stalking and harassing offspring of local crime boss. Good riddance. Young IT technician found dead. There must be a code in, an error in this code, grieving friend says. Wow. AI breakthrough imminent promises founder of Trans Global Inc. All right. David Garver, 34, IT architect, AI researcher. David is the founder of Trans Global Inc., a company that produces high tech gadgets like smartwatches and digital home assistants. For the past five years, David has been the foremost proponent of algorithms and artificial intelligence research. Good. That's nothing wrong with that person. If I die and someone sobs while making a pun about my death, I'm coming back to kill them too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I see it. Sanyu Fura Furaha. Shopkeeper, frustrated with the blind condiments section at the local grocery stores, Sena, uh, Sena, Sanyu opens a shop to sell specialty cooking ingredients. Now people can cook dishes originating from all around the globe. Okay. Casper Sursalu, teacher, 26. This prominent right-handed teacher enjoys playing a lot of tabletop role-playing games in the vein of beasts and swords or cavernous horrors of death. They are definitely afraid of bugs, critters, or they're such crawling beasts. Well, that, he, other than being a bit of a fucking wimp, uh, that guy is fine. Walt Guybrush. 47, media entertainment mogul. Walt grew... Oh, God, it's fucking M Walt Disney. Walt grew up with a dream of owning an independent film studio, which they established with a partner when they were just 23. In the past 20 years, this small Frolics Productions has grown into the most expansive producer of artistic entertainment news content in the world, bringing a diverse... Diversified variety of joy and cheer to all. I'm not gonna lie. This time, I don't mind these people living and these people dying. Like, she's not evil. This guy is a weirdo. I don't... This person might be doing something very foolish. I feel bad for Ellie a bit, but... A l only a little bit. Wait a minute. Damn it. Damn it! I was trying to write something. N. No! 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 What? No! I didn't mean to... I should have hit I should have hit live first. Damn it. That's bullshit. Yeah, I got got I got myself. Oh, and I need money to get the fucking eraser thing. Fuck. Not what I intended. Well, you know what? It was Walt Disney, who cares? Son of a bitch. I did not mean to do that. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? We would have no job without them. No, we need them. A system of mutual dependence. Yet we have some hold on the steer. Couldn't humans achieve immortality somehow? To put us right out of business? And you out of existence? Would you really trade yourself for them? What a time it would be for us all. A peaceful time. Ah. Never mind my ramblings. I acknowledge your patience and loyalty. Actually, I do have thoughts on loyalty. I am all ears, Grim. Don't you think this flows too one way? Such is the nature of loyalty. Hardly. You're just arrogant, always demanding, never giving back. 
actually really dislike fate very much. Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. Wait, I did get my daily review. Oh, right. Slipped my mind. Well, if it is that important to you, it seems you mark <laughs> more deaths than necessary. Enjoy your reprimand. Now depart. I have things to contemplate. God damn it. I did not mean to kill Walt Disney. Yeah, we're going to try and uh, just complete the tasks next so that I can buy the, ma the fucking eraser. Eight people? Tidings grim. Life ought not be too predictable, but the massacre you wrought yesterday? Unacceptable. Yet I understand we could use a bit of alteration and alternation sometime, sometimes, which is why I have developed a proper new process. Quota for the day, every other profile has to die? M How does that work? Do I go from right to left or left to right? What do you mean? Do I start from the top? Maybe I just start from the top. Every other profile must die? Slow down, Thanos. <laughs> Media mogul dies after a sudden case of illness. Law enforcement suspect poisoning. Researchers find numerous backdoors in transglobal ink products, granting access to any number of unknown parties. Oh, shit. Chemist uses experimental anti-aging drug on themselves. Grows younger until they finally cease to exist. Government to seek the ban of dangerous de-aging research. Oh, shit. Grand piano falls on young musician as they were walking down the street. Baker commits suicide through pretzel. Scientists completely baffled. Teacher maimed in a freak uh, emu-related accident. Oops. Every other. So then this guy is going to live. Gabriel de la Corsa. I guess I'm going to grab them as they are on top. Age 49, valet. Gabriel is very dignified. They work as a valet in a mansion and are admired by other, other workers as they make no movements which could be construed as redundant. Once they were a suspect of a gruesome murder, even though it would be impossible... For, once they were the suspect of a gruesome murder, even though it would be impossible for them to be the murderer. Oh, okay, well. That's fine. You get to live anyway, because you are not every other. Okay. Mikhail McCowington. Student. It's Michael. I don't know why I said Mikhail. Michael runs a an at influencer account where it is where it looks as if their cat is doing book reviews. Lately they've been thinking about getting another cat, perhaps one that reviews articles. Michael's quite happy with not having any significant other at the moment. This is animal abuse. How dare you make videos out of your animals? like this and then and then buy another cat in order to make more more animal videos that's not the reason you should be buying a cat perish all right this guy is next he's gonna live let's see who he is though a chuck nord 30 lumberjack a chuck co-owns a logging company where they work as a lumberjack although they although they comply with environmental regulations on paper they occasionally Clear protected habitats by mistake, destroying them, destroying the homes of thousands of endangered birds. Well, that fucking sucks. I, I want this guy to die, but I am told that he has to live. You are on top now. Let's look at you. Lucian Carnot, 64. This guy has to die as well. 64 Professor Lucian has been teaching undergrads for nearly 30 years now. They are well known for their welcoming demeanor, yet whispers travel about shady and inappropriate needs of students. Oh. Oh, I uh, don't mind you dying. Alright, this one's gonna live. Vivian Kennedy, 52, music teacher. Vivian works with children with learning disabilities and helps them learn musical instruments. They also s sing at a choir. At home, Vivian takes care of their four wonderful cats. Oh, well, I'm glad you're living. There's nothing wrong with you whatsoever. Don Fierno. Mobster. Oh, you get to die. That's good. 
The Don, Don Fierno tries to model themselves after the old mafia novels and films, not realizing those stories are made up by authors who had no connection to or understanding of organized crime. Soon enough, they'll realize there are no honor codes and family bonds. Crime is just crime. Well, good thing you're about to die. You're a fucking moron. This guy has a fat face. Jack Cujo. <gasps> 32, office worker. Did you kill or spare Asian Harry Potter? We killed that motherfucker. I think. That was so many days ago. <laughs> Jack has lived a great and kind life. They've been working in the local bees, Beats and Brothers consultancy firm for seven years, ever since graduating college. Recently, they've been looking for a way to turn their life around in order to stop being an office drone. Oh, well, you get to live. I'm annoyed by this every other person thing because I don't even know what order it means. So I just, I decided the order from what are on top of the stack. Okay. Tony Sakari. Oh, God. Uh, earlier today, I watched, I listened to a fucking crime video about a woman named Connie who got dismembered. And now I'm looking at this like, oh, God. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, oh wow, and she gets to die. What an interesting coincidence. Connie dropped out of high school to become a film star. After years of attempts, they've only managed to land one role in a rather embarrassing commercial. Turns out the competition for becoming an actor is vast. Sorry, but, uh, cosmic humor rhythms, yep. Yeah. Did I read these? I did, okay. Every basic bitch wants to be an actor. Yep. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have reached a conclusion. I'm all ears, metaphorically speaking. Appreciate it. Now, you might find this shocking. Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. I shall compose a novel most illustrious. One that will explain everything. Cool, can I read it? Certainly. Once it is finished, you will be the recipient of the first copy of the first printing. Ooh, that's gonna be worth so much money. I'm gonna fucking write Twilight? <laughs> anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Uh, tedium profiles. Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. There we go. Adherence to the rules is admirable. What a fucking absurd rule. But now we know that in any case that when the, whenever they refer to the order of profiles, it sort of kind of refers to what's on top. I feel like my sassing management w would make me kill him day one. <laughs> he isn't that sassy. I don't know. He's made to me. He sounds like a very tired person is my impression of him. He sounds fucking tired. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Four hundred. I don't even know how much money I am. Five hundred? This is a storm of sale. A fucking... Infernal Illuminator reveals that which is most deeply hidden once you've already made the choices and are passing through again. Elsa can't show much of anything because that's how things work, okay? That's... Okay, we're gonna save up for this thing because it sounds like a story item. Anything new from rooms that I can look at? Probably not. Yeah, no, nothing. The rules. Jesus Christ. Oh, seven, okay. That's that's fine. Also, let's look at our phone. Student mauled by a mountain lion during a hike at the National Mesa. Oh god. Logging company accused of destroying yet another hawk habitat. Everything was done by the book, claims spokesperson. Crime boss gunned down on the street by rival mobsters. Escalates turf war. 
Frolics looks to expand with new department for machine learning, creating thousands of new jobs. So that's great. Grim, I'll keep this short. New zones of conflict seem to be emerging. I am suspecting a systematic bias in our balancing met methodology. Wait, what? The last three humans coming from the facts have to die? I didn't even pay attention to that. What the fuck? What do you mean? I'm counting on the accuracy of your judgment. What? Okay, you know what I'm going to take this to mean? I'm going to take this to mean the bottom three. That's what I'm going to interpret this as. January Hill, 43. Entertainment student CDO, ex-actor. A honor roll student, a blog... This is one of those times when you use an, even though it's a, technically a consonant. An honor roll student, a blockbuster actor. Now CEO of Frolics Productions. January has always been ambitious. Who the fuck is named January? I believe that all of the months of the year have been used to name people in, in Anglo countries. Except maybe March, but mm, I don't know. Probably somewhere somebody has done that. They started an affair with Frolics' founder as their dreams of the future aligned. January now strives for Frolics content to reach all of mankind so everyone could assimilate their company's great core values. Well, I'm sorry, but my uh, boss seems to have told me that you need to die because you were the last, one of the last, th potentially one of the last three to come through. Now we're going to get you. Who are you? Michael Land. Ugh. I play my land for turn. Me naming the kids one, two, three, four, five. It reminds me of the joke of the black lady who named her child Absidae, which is just A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> Michael Land, 31, composer. Michael was a musical prodigy since age four, being able to pick up any instrument with little to no effort. Recently, they've been working at Fine Art Studio, composing some of the most haunting music pieces for a number of soundtracks, mostly for computer games. Well, unfortunately, you have to die. Pauline Sheep. Unemployed. Pauline just quit their high-paying job after saving up a lot of money. Their goal was to get a large enough sum that they don't have to work for the several years. Generally a nice enough plan, the main drawback being that to pull it off, you have to have a very high-paying job to begin with. Sorry, but you're not going to live out those uh, years very well. Apologies. Everyone else gets to live, unfortunately. Sansar Lanjwani, kitchen manager. Sanskar is a lonely person going through a rough patch in life and has thus become much sloppier when it comes to checking if new hires are trained in food preparation and proper kitchen safety techniques. They've gotten better things to think about besides what could go wrong. People die, but you have to, you get to live. Maria Meriso, student coordinator. Maria works at the Central Cosmopolis University where they offer administrative help and guidance to undergraduates. Sometimes they help organize academic events. Life keeps them busy, but they still try to find time to engage in their passion, snowboarding. El Elil Neneti, scholar, a true scholar. Elil is trying to integrate different disciplines in order to uncover the truths of the world. They live the life of science, searching for universal theory of everything. It's not going very well, as there are many holes that have to be patched, but that's what makes it fun. Well, you sound like a good person. Kira Erin Moore, 40, chauffeur. Kira initially became, oh wait, oh God, bites the dust is coming. Initially became a rideshare driver due to needing extra funds. Soon they found an opportunity to upgrade a, to luxury vehicle chauffeur, which required to go through extra training and invasive and defensive driving techniques. These days they feel pretty badass behind the wheel. Well, you get to live. What a bizarre order. Then again, I want to name kids after Constellation, so maybe that's cringe too. I want to vaguely name children after, like, some really cool video game characters. But that's also cringe. Grim. Why are you here? 
Oh, right. The daily... What? Always in positions when I have important research to perform. Uh, let us get on with it. I see the exact amount of profiles necessary. Good job, I guess. Okay, I got it correct. Yes, that should suffice, I imagine. Hey, can I ask you some more questions, maybe? Questions. Questions, Grim. <sighs> Fine. I have trouble finding inspiration anyway. Perhaps your questions will assist me. Make sure they are deep and meaningful. What do you think dying is like? No idea. Our immortality precludes us from such knowledge. What the fuck is up with fate? I have no idea what he's going through. Yet, I imagine it would be a pleasant release. What if death is extremely bad and unpleasant? In that case, at least one only dies once. But more likely, death is just nothingness. And nothing, being nothing, has no inherent positive or negative effects. Nah, no, that's a negative affect. Any other questions? They're an afterlife. Not in the sense that humans consider it, no. No endless suffering in the grasp of cosmic horrors? Hardly. Any other questions? You think mortals have some drive towards death? Because they seem to find themselves in life-threatening situations all the time? They do often seem willing to throw their lives away for stupid reasons. Life is unpredictable and lacks an innate meaning. I imagine it is up to them to make their lives meaningful, even if it sometimes ends up being fatal. Any other questions? Can language even deal with the concept of death? Unlikely. That doesn't stop art and literature from trying. One must make do with what they have. Art does seem an attempt at immortalization, as humans feel the ever-present breath of death. A hybrid of entertainment, meaning-making, and the preservation of a facet of identity, carved into matter that might outlast the being itself. Huh. At least until all matter ceases to be. When's that gonna happen? Hmm. Any day now. Any other questions? Actually, I got nothing. Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. You see, Mildrew, when you die... <laughs> the lamp's still around? Lord, blimey! You're looting! Oh, beware. Or do I get the eraser first? Oh, I should get the eraser first. Yeah, let's get the eraser. Lethian Obliviator. Avast! This tale is beyond reproach. We were sailing the high seas when we found a shipwreck full of these off the coast of the wild wakes. It has power to erase even the most dreadful of mistakes. Used it to erase one of my risky love letters. And you know what? Never heard from the love interest again. <laughs> well, yeah, because you erased the letter. You erase the letter, so of course you never spoke to them again. All right, let's go to work. Read this. The assignment, an eldritch waft of air passed through my office earlier. Certainly a sign of disorder. We cannot determine the correct amount of people to mark today, so I leave it up to you. Nugget likes to brush her hair. Nugget likes to smell her chair. Oh, God. Bro went shopping at Officeworks for the eraser and pretends like he almost died. <laughs> Quota for the day. Any humans who seem suspicious have to die. You will figure it out, yes? Well, first... Frolic stocks plummet. Market guru's advice to... Whole sick as dip assumed to be temporary. Mini panic in stock market as CEO of massive conglomerate found dead in apartment an apparent suicide. Noted composer accidentally drowns at peculiar pirate themed cruise. Tis a curse, the pirate leader was noted saying. Bruh. 
Major outbreak of Salmonella... Salmonellosis hits Cosmopolis City. Hundreds infected so far. E Eliel the Scholar. So close to the answer, I hear the notes, but the arrangement is wrong. Eliel the Scholar. One day I'll show them. One day the whole world will know. Chauffeur evades attackers trying to assassinate visiting diplomat. What the fuck? World Wellness Organization announces record investment into virus prevention research. Research into drone warfare shows it's close It's close to useless and woefully error-prone. I don't know. I think we've been doing it for a while now. It's been doing things. All right. I'm not muted, right? No, I am not. Good. Marianne Seafelt. Crime scene investigator. Marianne makes grievous puns on crime scenes constantly. While making the puns, they usually also slowly remove their sunglasses. This behavior doesn't hinder their professional abilities at all, though they often actually find the biggest clues mid-pun. Carrie Ann Driver. Coroner, 36. A coroner sees death daily, and Carrie is no stranger to it. They handle the most critical of medical cases and are specialized in large-scale outbreaks. Their investigative skill is second only to their passion, solving puzzles. Puzzles which most of the time include deadly toxins and microorganisms. This person might contribute to the plague if I don't kill them. Yadis Kamisi, drone pilot. Crime see that is a CSI reference? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Clearly. After enlisting, Yadis decided to focus on... Oh, they're a drone pilot. Decide to focus on new and popular high-tech approach drones because their experience with controllers, it, be it became, and be because of their experience with the controllers and because it felt safer and less traumatizing, they're hoping to make the world a better and safer place. You probably need to die because drone warfare is bad, according to the game. Uh, did I successfully not sneeze into the microphone? I think I successfully did not sneeze into the microphone. Rashida Mathios, diplomat. Rashida is a representative from Carthenia, a nation recovering from a major economic crash in Cosmopolis City for a state visit. They've come to negotiate a mutually beneficial agreement. As they were being driven to City Hall, their vehicle was attacked by would-be assassins who were thwarted by their chauffeur. Oh, the chauffeur from the last uh, day w uh, was involved in stopping this. Cool. Citra Pascal, cashier. Citra takes all the shifts at the coffee shop they're physically able to take, so they could afford to buy deluxe cat food for their five cats. It's hard to... It's hard work to remove all that cat fur be before coming to work, but so far they seem... It seems they haven't given any customer allergic reactions. I think it's fine for you to live. This person is... I, I think that these people are a bit sus. So we're gonna get these two. This is fine. Drop a single word parameter. What the fuck does that mean? I don't even know what that means. I don't understand. These are like trick questions from when you go to school and the and the the fucking math paper says all these different retarded things. Ooh, bird. Ooh, skeleton lady. Why, if it isn't the young Grimster, back again to delight my eye. Oh, you oh you want you want this bone? Are you still wearing the same attire from before? Oops, it's been ages. I just think my current look really suits me. Oh, this lack of transformation, no, it does not suit me. Okay, fine, I'll change my clothes. Not just the thing to help you out, something I've been holding for a special case. Oh boy. A cool visage to make your day. Check it out later. Crushes a word. 
Is she trying to fuck me? What the hell? <laughs> Say, how's the grind been treating you since our last chat? Like, if she's trying to get some of the bone, man, like, I don't, like, that's, that's cool and all. That's awesome, but, like, just, just tell me, lady. Honestly, with that last one, the last few did confuse me. About what? Your tasks? I thought it was all, here's your quota, and do as I say. Things day in, day out. Simple stuff. Bartender is an enemy of the veggies. I am not forgiving this transgression. Why is she the enemy? Like, she's talking about our clothes, so I uh, assume our suit. We, we could change our suit. Doesn't sound something I'd be enthused about. I mean, it demands too much warm trust. Sometimes the tasks get a bit confusing. Like there's a team. scary. One ought to heed instincts in collaboration with reason. Sounds twice as powerful to me. Yeah. Ah, but what do I know? I'm just the barkeep. So what can I get you? Sure. What's your poison? Smooth and silky milk coming your way. Au revoir, little reaper. Like, I don't mind if our if our skeleton man fucks a, go fucks a goblin lady. Like, if a just, just, just say it, woman. You know. Like, then again, maybe the skeleton woman here is much better. Who knows? I don't think I've seen you here before. Let me guess. You're in the hmm, human department, right? I mean, the dark circles, the vibe like you haven't slept for a thousand years. That obvious, huh? It is, at least for me. Or you see. I'm also in the human department. How do you like it here? Work is work, I guess. So, I figure you've been here a while by now. How do you feel about the work we do? Um... I wish people didn't really have to suffer over this stuff. Hang on. How do you know how humans are doing in their realm? Don't tell me you're actually <laughs> I have to keep track of what's happening. I haven't opened it in years. You don't read the news? No. I mean, I used to, but nothing interesting ever happened. The instructions are the same every day anyway. Kill all door-to-door -door salespeople. A cocker app, yep. What do I see in the app? Door to door salespeople die. Great. So very engaging. And that's followed by the stories of downright horrible things happening everywhere. No thanks. Ever thought of asking fate about your never changing instructions? <laughs> I've seen the boss like once. Not gonna happen. I bet it's all part of fate's grand race plan. The equilibrium. And who am I? A mere spawn to question it. I get different instructions every day. Um, congratulations. <laughs> what do you mean? My choices affect the world all the time. Do they, though? Do they really? Or is it an illusion? In any case, reading the news helps make decisions. I just do what fate tells me to. The decisions are not mine to make. Life with no choices? Still haven't given up? Have you ever heard the inspiring story of Skullifus? <laughs> I'm guessing you haven't, since it happened way back when we still use rubber stamps instead of markers. Let's carry on with the story. Okay. So Skullifus spent all day every day stamping profiles to live or die. They got a grandiose case of carpal tunnel from all that stamping, but still they kept on going. Every day they'd receive a heap of new profiles, which were basically the same as the ones they'd stamped the day before. Almost as if powering through the carpal tunnel wasn't making any difference. Almost as if it wasn't worth it. Die! Now Die right. end is now! Crush! In any case, they kept 
going. They kept on staying there because they had to. And because when you give up, the cosmos, that meaningless entropy, it wins. Hmm. And I'm never gonna let that happen. Even if it means doing the exact same thing. Day in, day out. That's it? That's the inspirational story? That's it, stranger. It inspires me to wake up every day. Huh. Besides, as long as the coins keep coming, can we really complain? I think it's time you start making your own choices. You mean, what? Ignore my instructions? Won't that get me, like, instantly fired? Good point, maybe you stick to the instructions. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Been getting along just fine until now, right? Nod sagely. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Thanks for the chat, stranger. Anyway, I'm off to sleep. See you later. Probably not. Birdman. Look at that. It's a hatchling. I guess they let all sorts work here nowadays. The assemblage must be decay. You're all alone in a path in the woods. At the end of that path is a print is a cabin. And in that cabin is a princess. <laughs> Dregs, one must. What brings you to Florian, the Eradicator? Oh, it's this motherfucker! Why are you called the Eradicator? I'm that efficient in bringing annihilation to the herd. One fell swoop, judgment has arrived. Oh, if only. Cursing the injustice of a cold grave. Stand. You're a piece Still, of shit. Fate expects us to be polite to one's colleagues because it advances synergy and improves long term morale. I suppose I must then do my best to enlighten you on whatever matters are bothering you today. Another Reaper who works in the office? I am the best and brightest of the bunch. When I aim for the jugular, I do not miss. Bro, we literally have markers and paper. You're not special. With blood and guts, I will paint my magnum opus on the canvas of cosmos. You're so avant-garde. Flesh is temporary. We here provide the herd with an escape from their meat prison. It is called salvation, or at least the closest thing they'll ever get. What does fate think of your grand ideas? I don't get to meet the boss often, surprising as that may be. Fate doesn't chat with reapers all the time. No, he does with me. We are beneath him, as the humans are beneath us. I just make sure to enjoy every slash and stab. Take pride in a successful exit. For that is what we are born to do. Yes, we death bringers all have to die. What's stopping you from marking everyone? Unthinkable. You may to suggest I go against fate's rules and kill more people. A lot more. All of them. Well, then why the fuck are you talking like you're special? I mean, it'd be amazing. Yeah. A glorious day. But, ah, uh, such fantasy. I can bide my time until their atrophy. I'm leaving, kid. Say it was a pleasure talking to you. Ciao, little hatchling. Lessons learned, off you go. 
What a fucking dickhead. How much money do I have? You're such a scout. 400. There should be a bounty on your head. As you enter, you notice that Fate's office is empty aside from Lady Paddington snoozing on the table. Hey, kitty cat, you are so cute. The old-fashioned phone suddenly rings with an ear-piercing metallic chatter. A familiar voice calls from the static. Haha, <laughs> Grim, jolly good. As you may have noticed, I am absent. I decided to short vacation. It is a weekend, after all. And the free time will be essential for research. For the novel, yes? So I'm reporting to the cat again? Hello, Grim, are you there? never works when I need it. You may be wondering about who is in charge. I did consider leaving the Lady Pauling again, but my hiatus is only momentary. I am sure you can manage these few days. But what of the conduct overview, you may be thinking? To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. I am certain you have done well enough. Okay. Now, I must go submerge myself. Toodles, Grim. Do I get money? I do. Cool. Let's change a little bit. Psst. How do you live with yourself? Okay, technically, you are not alive anymore. But maladies are ravaging the populace. Microbial forces having their way. I know, I'm just trying to do better. Yeah? Just stop letting everyone down. The only real sickness here is you. Why? What? Fuck you. <laughs> I don't think that's fair. Yeah, life's not fair, bonehead. Hey, I'm a pumpkin head. You're probably powerless. Ain't anything you can do about it. Disease will spread until it engulfs all. Consider it a warning. Yeah, I don't want really a new hat. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. I like this one. Let's go. Yeah, let's go with this one. I don't like mirror horror. Yeah, not me either. All right. Um, let's not. Te well, actually, I could do my job and come back. Mm. And you know what, Cheshire? One more. Your attention is required. I have been informed of a delicate situation. I trust that you will handle it as usual. Quota for the day. Five must die. One human must be spared. This is of almost of utmost importance. Do be careful to let the right person live. Pathogen Research Facility tactically fumigated as concerns over research ethics rise. Attack of the deadly pastry. Coffee shop patron goes into anaphylactic shock after ingesting cat hair with cake. Oops. Drone pilot goes AWOL after traumatic event. Economic negotiations proceeding according to plan. A potential deal in sight. Famous investor comes out with a pun so horrendous, suspect actually gets a heart attack. Oh my god. Market experts warn against investing in Yitcoin. Maru's cousin Walnut. <laughs> we have to make the correct person survive. Jake Shawnee, Jade Shawnee, liaison officer. Jade is communications coordinator at the Cosmopolis City Home Guard, mainly focusing on disaster management. They live alone with two cats and a hamster due to not being particularly interested in finding a partner. They focus disaster management. Interesting. Ami Morin Podge, poacher. Oh, you're dead. Ami is a gifted hunter who has recently found a way to make a decent living with his skill. They hunt the elusive mountain cats for their fangs, 
which are thought to cure a multitude of health, health problems. Rudy, 19 student. What morals? What are morals? Rudolf is the type of a university freshman who has just finished reading a couple of introductory philosophy books and now can't stop talking about how they understand how society and morals and the world works. Oh, you're probably dead. You're, you're a dumbass. Brian Kalathinaikos. Yanitor. Raking leaves is hard. Blowing them around with a leaf blower is much more fun. This is why Brian takes care of the leaves exclusively with a leaf blower. Starting already at 6 a.m. in the morning. The toxic fumes of the machine emit don't concern them one bit. Oh, you're dead. Poachers hunt animals for things that are available from other sources all the time. Okay, yeah. I hate leaf blowers. Please kill him. Well, in my head, I was thinking you could, like, cause, like, a car accident or something if you're too grandiose with your leaf blower, right? Archibald Hogan. Also, his leaf blower is producing chemical fumes. 19 intern. Archibald thought their dream had come true after they landed an internship at a major publishing company. Turns out they dislike both their job and their sometimes mean, sometimes indifferent boss. They now pass their time at work playing pranks in their supervisor. That's silly. Firuza Williams, investor. Firuza is an avid investment enthusiast, spending all their waking hours tracking stock prices and buying and selling stocks randomly. Despite having zero knowledge of economics and no desire to learn, they keep successfully convicting, convincing people on social media to invest in Yitcoin. I think our first lady is going to live because she is, she is, she is a disaster manager. Everybody else is useless and annoying or evil. So. I did read this, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right. All right. You know what? That was so. We were so quick about that. Maybe we do do another conversation. Oh shit! No, we should save here. Actually. Well, after we get paid. Yeah. 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 As you enter, Lady Poddington is batting the rubber gerbil between her paws. Squeak, squeak, the gerbil complains every er, at every hit. Yeah, I know that feel, toy. Squeak, the crestfallen toy squeaks. The cat paws the toy slowly, her yellow eyes glow with mirth. The old-fashioned phone rings again right as you settle in. The familiar yet grainy voice can be heard. Grim, ah, you would not believe the fun I am having. Such... Almost makes it all seem worthwhile. Keep quiet. Yes, you expect your daily summons. But I still cannot find it in me to burden myself with this matter. So, off you go. What a bizarre game. I wonder if it goes past 28 days. The balloons will get you anything, mate. I have 1200. Infernal Illuminator. Reveals that which is most deeply hidden. Once you've already made the choices and are passing through again, else it can't show much anything because that's how things work. The base, the marble plate of yore. The arms melted from the cannons of a galleon. A socket, a shell of a ferocious sea monster. <laughs> the shade made from the skull of the beast of Hogwarts. The coil bent from the thorns of a rose bush in Guiana. I, me drinking buddy, a master electrosmith built this illuminator. He also loved to spark me drink and laugh gleefully when me whole jaw sizzled. Pranked him right back by knocking his teeth out. <laughs> okay. So, I don't want to... If I go to the, the bar, I'm going to get another 20 minutes of conversation, so let's. Uh, we're going to be done for tonight. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We'll be back tomorrow to continue this game. We're, we're going through it pretty quickly. I imagine we might finish it tomorrow, unless, of course, there's more content after 28 days are up. In which case, we'll keep playing it next week. And you know what? I don't mind. I like it. 
It's interesting. It's a, it's a less stressful version of play, Papers, Please, and it is giving me intriguing puzzles that I'm trying to mentally solve, so I do enjoy it quite a bit, and I hope you all do as well. Uh, if you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours, and this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where it will join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. The bike guy in my neighborhood who's scared a dog with his bike noise today shows up on your desk. <laughs> Oh boy. Don't don't get sent to prison, please. But yeah, so we went we went very, very high over time because I'm enjoying it. And uh, I should really get out of here now, so uh thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again soon, tomorrow, with more death and taxes. Ciao!